Pot Award is an award given for those who have given great contributions to pop culture. And if I'm going to ahead and read what's on the inscription for both of you. Uh, the Ink Pot Award for Achievement in Animation, Miyazaki, Comic Con International, 2009. And also the Ink Pot Award for Achievement in Animation, John Lasseter, Comic Con International, 2009. Give him a hand. Thank you both for everything you've done for animation. How about that, Miyazaki-san, huh? Could we use this ink? Yes. It's got usable ink in it. Okay. I'm very honored to receive this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get one in to stand here next to my hero, Miyazaki Sons. All right, um, first question. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you to Miyazaki san for coming all the way over to San Diego. Thank you. And my question is actually uh, for John. Um, I was wondering what the process is like, or more, was it your passion of Miyazaki's films? to convince Disney to localize them and bring them and distribute them in America? Or was it a collaborative effort? Or? Disney's had the, um, the, the American rights to Miyazaki's films for, for quite a while, but, but to, to release on video. But I have felt like these, this country and these, you know, the, the animation fans and families all over this country would really love this. So I've been really helping to try to um, to do a fantastic job with the English language version. I don't want to change Miyazaki's vision at all. It's, it's exactly what his films are, but we try to make it so that American audiences, English-speaking audiences, will be in the exact same level of understanding that Japanese audiences are at any one point in time, and that's our goal. So, it, so you just get swept away with these amazing stories and don't think about it. Um, you know, I don't want to change his vision. And so then we've, we've, what's so exciting is that I did forget to mention that on uh, August 14th, uh, Panyu will be rele released uh, in, in the United States, 800 theaters. So it's a really nice big release across the country, which is great. Um, all his other films have had much smaller releases. They, uh, Disney believes so strongly in this film, and it's going to be great. Also, um, tonight, Miyazaki-san is inviting everybody. There, he will be there to personally introduce a screening of the entire Ponyo at the 8, uh, 8 p.m. at the Pacific Gaslamp Theater at the corner of 5th and G Streets. 5th and G Streets. So it's first come, first serve there. And anyway, and, and Miyazaki-san will be there to introduce the screening. So, but anyway, I just like So we're, we're going to keep bringing his films here. Thank you. Okay, just watching Ponyo right now, it just gave me the chills because it's so beautiful. Um, my question is, how do you combine the surreal and the beautiful to create such phenomenal and original pieces of art? For example, in Spirit Away, is it based off like Japanese legends? Most of your uh, movies, how are you inspired? <laughs> it's coming. I wish I could remember uh, the way I think of these stories, but I always forget what, how actually I think of them. Maybe that's not a real answer.